everybody, I'm Chris Soltz, this is Justin Gruder, and well, this is going to be a golden one. It's a golden age, it's a golden era. It's 2014 Panini Golden Age. I'm just Baseball gonna, and more. I'm just going to let him keep going with the whole Golden Age theme and just keep talking. Oh, uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of the, the character from Goldmember, or Gold Austin Powers. Goldmember? He would be proud. You yeah. mean Goldmember? Was that, was, his, was that his name? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's too current to be in the Golden Age card set, and we're going to both fumble through getting these things open. Nope. Victory. <sighs> Fingernail. So, what do we got going on with this box? Um, two hits. I don't have a blade here. Just pop that for me. Wow. Thanks. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Figured there was an, enough awkwardness here. This is a uh, topper that's actually large, and... I haven't seen any of these before, but this is on super thick cardboard, which made me think it was a mem card for well, some you, reason. you can get mem cards of those. This is on some steady, steady stock. But it's not. But that is uh -huh. a massive, impressive mem, mem card thickness jumbo of Jacqueline Kennedy without the Onassis on this one. And I got no respect. There you go. That's No funny. respect. If these are in every box or close to it, I like them a lot. That's a cool inclusion. Yeah, they are. They're box toppers on premium cardboard. Well, with the, and you also get the box bottoms that you I'm can punch go out. I'm going to do this. Uh-oh. I'm going to leave mine alone. Well, yeah, we need to photograph the box so I can't just make a mockery of Yeah, I'm going to leave out. mine alone. Wow, there's a pull tab, which is not going to pull, so I'm just not going to do it. But they, uh, there's a perforation and a pull tab to actually physically pull the thing out. We actually got the same cards on both the bottoms of the boxes. No, that's too, so. <clears throat> But there's one autograph on card and a mem card per box in this one. Show the Haystacks Calhoun card. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to just show Haystacks. Got to show that you one. You also get one, let's move these. You get one mini per pack, I believe. Yep. I got Bob Hayes, the Baseball Hall of Fame, Haystack Calhoun, the only professional wrestler in this set. Yep. And then you got a couple of baseball players, Ernie Banks and Dizzy Dean. And, I have. And they're actually showing a logo. So this is, is this his Negro League card? Yeah, this is from when he was in Negro Leagues. Yep. That's very cool. This is a pop culture infused set. It's, it's majority baseball, but with historic figures, other sports people. Lots of um, actresses this year. Tons of actresses. Pop culture inclusions. Purple Haze, like Foxy it. Lady, or... Voodoo Child. I'll probably go that one too. How about Jimi Hendrix? Jimi Hendrix alongside Lawrence Barra, the Cadillac Ranch, Jack Ruby, and some other people. Well, I got your full size Jimi Hendrix. I got the Lusitania, which is, I, think, I believe, I think that's this is the Titanic sister ship. Nice. Ernie Nevers. Angela Cartwright. Never say never. Got Alfalfa from the uh, Little Rascals. Uh -oh. And Butch Cassidy. Mm -hmm. And you also can get the Sundance Kid in this set as well. Ooh, I got mono. I think I did as well. Okay. I don't know how rare they are. Obviously, the tobacco cards have various backs in this one. Hindu is, I think, the standard back that's found in a few colors. I'm not, I could be wrong there. I think it's the mono one because I got two, you got really? one. Really? So. Okay. I didn't see any um, of those. I, I opened a oh, couple packs of these the other day. Here's my mem card. I, I can feel it's very girthy. Could have a plug. It could have a plug, but I'm calling mem card. In fact, when I bought my 20 some boxes of gold names last year, I had a habit of always opening my thick packs first. So oh, bummer. It is a plug. Up. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that this time. I'm going to go back to my tradition. I think there were like seven or eight of these thick ones per box. See, I got the blue mono back now. Blue mono? So, like, yep. you're depressed and ill? I am. And, yeah. That was a Patsy Klein reference. She's in this set. She is. Buddy Holiday. Or Holly. Good sorry, Buddy Holly. You, just like Buddy Holiday. Uh, I, didn't sorry, work. I was thinking of Matt Holiday. I'm going to throw the plug at him. That's, a, that's not even cool. Man. Ken Osmond. Just going to let that one sit. Ken Osmond. Cornelius Mack. Return of the Mack, I'm sure, was written about him. Jake LaMotta. He's a raging bull. C.W. Post, publisher, or publisher, food, breakfast food person, Don Knotts. Don Knotts I would want an autograph of. Too bad he's not with us. Unfortunately. Chad Tripper would be another great autograph. I got all baseball or actresses in this one. There you go. 
my minis of John McGraw. Got Kid Gleason, Casey Stengel. No and relation to Jackie. King Kelly, so early 1900s player. And I got Tatum O'Neill and Lindsey Wagner. It's an eclectic combination, can yeah. you tell? One thing that they do have a lot of in this set as well is um, jockeys. You get a lot of horses yeah, and jockeys. A, there was a horse racing addict uh, behind the making of this one. I think so. Joe Jackson. And I say that in the most endearing way. Horse racing actually doesn't have any card sets, so it's, they actually are pretty popular. It just doesn't work for me, but that's, that's fine. It's, I don't, not made, it's not made just for me. I really don't know any of the jockeys or any of that stuff. I'm getting stuff How about out of me a horse racing owner legend, D. Wayne Lucas? The, you know, the base design of this one's pretty colorful, and I like the look of most of the images. Like, these two are pretty sharp. But I think they kind of did a painting effect when they colorized some of these images, and that they don't all look as sharp as they probably, you know, could be right. to me. And it reminds me more of Goodwin Champions, which is basically its competitor that came out this week as well. Okay, so so it's, a little, I, uh, it's a little confusing to me. I actually got my first short print of the box as well. Uh, another alfalfa card. I'll show you the original. Nice. This is the short print. Oh, they should be noted on the back. And it's noted where it says SP40. Think about that. And then just regular 40. Not so. to be confused with SPX or SP40. No. Right? Or is SP40? Exactly. So, Cameraman's not working with me. Yeah. I got PT Barnum as a mini. And then, how's this guy for trivial knowledge? Eddie Goodell. He's, he's a tall one. Shortest baseball player ever. One at bat. Actually, got walks. So I didn't say he got walks. Count, isn't it? Yeah. Right? I have a Cadillac Ranch mini card for all you Cadillac mini mini fans. Oh wow. I don't even know what that means. Oh, yeah. My first and only autograph probably in this box. Sometimes boxes had two autos last year. This is a cool looking card because he's in a football uniform. Mike Lookin' Land of the Brady Bunch. I'll show the card back first. I like the design of these backs a lot. On the front, a little non-traditional approach for the uh, visuals, but I think it works. I got my first insert of, uh, I guess it's a horse. Well, it is a horse, but. Of course it Ali, is. Alidar, uh, fan craze insert. Ali, is, is Alidar related to Ali Larder? I would hope not. You never know. It'd be kind of creepy. Like, you know. It'd be very odd. It can happen. Ali. Aluminium? Aluminium? They're their cousins. He's, he's reaching now. Not towards me. Pat Priest of the Munsters. Mem card. I like the look of it. The color palette on this design is very rich, very cool. Oh, that's very interesting right here. Oh, like, yeah, little perforation cards. They're, they're like stamp sheets. Yeah. Like, they're real flimsy, like if, if you bought a book of stamps. Yep. This one's uh, for the Titanic. So you got the Titanic, Lusitania, the Captain, I forgot his name, and then... Captain, I forgot his name. And then the uh, Molly Brown lady. She's unsinkable. Yes, that's the, the irony there. Or Kathy Bates, if you watch the movie. No, it's funny. I, I opened my thick packs and I got both my hits in the box. So uh -huh. this box either has more in it or the skinny packs are not going to be any fun. Dusty Baker, Jimi Hendrix, Alfalfa, Ernie Nevers, Connie Mack again. I got some dupes going in this box as well. I don't think I've got any dupes yet. I got Marcus Haynes, Amelia Earhart's plain Tatum O'Neill mini with the Hindu red back. Mono. Crazy Legs Hirsch. I have his autograph at home. Joe Ducky Medwick. Outfield the baseball. I don't know exactly what this insert set's called, but that's a funky looking card back there. I'm sure I wrote it up in the story, but I don't recall what the name is at this moment. I just did the checklist today, so I... You should know these things. I should, but at the same time, they didn't show any pictures, so... I know. It's like the word association without the words. Butch Patrick of the Monsters. Yes, he is green. And yes, he is sedated. And yes, this is Frank Robinson with a green mono back. I got Michael Spinks with a green mono back. There you go. Trying Don to like DiMaggio. Me on that. Bill Mummy, I guess he's a, he's an actor. He returned. Yes, he did. We got a jockey. He wears underwear. Christopher Knight. Jockeys. And Elroy Craig Lake Hirsch. So, very eclectic pack. Okay, before you open, I'm gonna I'm gonna open my next pack here. I'm gonna we're gonna pack war. What do you call Most jockeys. Uh, actresses. Okay, most actresses. I have John McGraw, who oh, acted baseball. like a manager and was good at it. Buddy Holly, who was pretty good in that movie La Bamba. Oh wait, he was about. He was about I think him. he died with that movie. Liberace, he acted. There's a movie about him. 
There you go. Oh, I have Hot, hot Lips, Houlihan, Loretta Swit. There you go. I have one. Butch Cassie, Enos Slaughter. So you're going to win. Well, you've tied me already. Joe Jackson, Chrissy Mathewson, which is an insert. Same insert we had before. Yeah, Marta Kristen. And this is a she's from like different space or something. Hindu act. Yep. Oscar Gamble, Terry Bradshaw, who is an actor as well. We tied. And oh, Tommy Lasorda. No, no, you said, well, you said actress. So my second pack had Susan Olsen and Pat Priest, so I got two on you. What do you got in your next pack? We'll see. All right. And while, while you're doing that, I'll show off my extra, extra card, headlines card. Excellent. Pemberton develops Coca-Cola. And I'll go back to the one pack that I opened but didn't show. Sleepy Bill Burns, Orson Welles, Richard Dreyfuss, St Cy Young, and Chuck Connors. You actually beat me. I have no actresses. Yeah. I have another stamp booklet kind that of thing. That was me doing my Evan Mathis with the rock <laughs> post to the camera. Some of you know right, what that means. C.W. Post, the founder of Post Serial. I thought he was a Kellogg's guy. Definitely not. Okay, just checking. Jake LaMotta. He's a bull. And Rabbit Marinville. Oop. He's a rabbit. He is a rabbit. He's fast like a rabbit. I have a bulldog. A bull. Oh. And Eddie Wakus, who is the person behind the Robert Redford, The Natural story. He was shot by a woman. And was a baseball player. Just the fact that he got shot in general is not pleasant, whether it be a man or a woman. I think she was a stalker, just like in the movie. That would just make it worse if you're a stalker, get shot by your stalker. Apparently that was a, made into a, his story was made into a play in the early days, which was back in the, it was a morality tale. Don't do huh? these things or you'll get shot. It was hmm. weird, something like that. All right. Exactly. I will not do those things. All right, I got my first autograph. Yeah, my wife, autograph. wife will shoot you. I hope not. I really don't. You love me, honey. Remember that. <laughs> I got an autograph, a really good looking autograph, actually. She, It's very legible. Uh, Pat what Priest. What trying to say there? I like that handwriting? She, I can read her handwriting. Okay, just checking. I heard that. She heard that, too. Yes, she did. Right after you. Jeez. How about Whitey Ford? Dan Cray's card, along with a Mo Berg in his older years, and Kennesaw Mountain Landis throwing out a first pitch. I think for, for the most part, I'm a big fan of this brand. I, I bought a ton of it. I bought more of this brand last year than I have in anything in the last five years, partly because the price was there. This is only about a $60 box, 20 packs, about $3 a piece, I believe, somewhere in that range. It's a, it is fun. I enjoy opening yeah. it, seeing all the random stuff. Uh, You're guaranteed. Yeah, you newsmakers. TV Angel. I have stamps. Oh man, why didn't I do this one for actresses? I got four of them. I have four in one card. Baby Bull, Orlando Cepeda, Robin Yount, George Brett, and Nolan Ryan. Oh, you got your stamp card. Is there only one of those per box or two? I got two so far. Okay. I'm still working on my stack of skinny packs here. Jacqueline Kennedy Onassis Mini. And a large size card, just so you can compare and contrast. All right, I got the Georgia Peach Mini. That's very peachy of you. I'm trying to think of the White Stripes song's lyrics. Rita Hayworth's there, and it was all that I needed, or something. To be honest with you, I don't listen to White Stripes. Oh, uh, so that's, that's a problem. I hang my head. Okay, you hang your head and cry. And shame. You're so lonesome. I was trying to make a lyrics reference to something I don't know the lyrics to. Willie Nelson. All right, I got another mono blue of Jim Belton. Ball four. Maple Joy. Zach Napoleon. Wheat. He's, he likes his fiber. I got the six million dollar man too. That's a six cent card. Probably, yeah. Quarter. Quarter. Let's be nice to them. It'd be funny to book it. Let's be million, nice to leave His autographs are in here. I bet they book for $6 million. I hope not. That'd be kind yeah. of Get about a $60 box. I have the unsinkable along with the singles. Uh, you got it too. Ronald Reagan, Rube Marquard, Willie Horton, Liberace. Quite an eclectic mix along with a Model T Ford. We got a... Uh, here's here's an uh, interesting card that... I don't know how I feel about getting this card, but Jack Ruby. There's a mem card of him. Conspiracy, yeah. Yeah. So, we actually talked about that on the radio show yesterday. Where uh -oh. Some morbid kind of cards. They're out there. You know? Yeah. And Not this, from this company, though. To me, that he's kind of That's on the verge. I know it is. Yeah. 
He's a historic figure who has some importance. Just like Fay Ray. Do you know who Fay Ray is? She was the blonde woman in King Kong. Good job. And I actually just watched King Kong last night. Did you have to wait for any of that to figure out who she was on the checklist? No. I, I had to Google her. I knew the name. I didn't know who I she was. I one of the uh, harder, harder to get minis. Way too old for me. Oh, yeah. Crofts. I got one of those extra, extra cards as well. Read all about it, dude. Pulse John, Down Giants. Right on. I have Peter Edward Rose. He's not allowed to be in MLB products. He's not. I He's think here. he has an autograph in this product He does. As well. He does. Our diehard who went to the shop the first day to buy a box got him got him a Pete Rose autograph. I got a uh, John Pemberton historical figure. No He's relation to Colonel Rusty of the Confederate Wallace's Army. Former crew chief. That's one for the NASCAR crowd. All right. Robin Pemberton. Maybe Bucky, he is related. I he, could be wrong. He's talking. Bucky freaking Dent. Bucky. <laughs> Can't say the uh, actual name that Bastonians have given him. So we'll just go with Bucky. His middle name is. His middle initial is F. It's a bleep. Let's put it that way. Bleeping. How's, how's the Sundance kid? Jerry West. Joe Lewis. Steve Yeager. Steve Yeager's claim to fame is what, sir? Oh, he has God, two, actually. It escapes me. I don't even remember. We can wait. I, you keep waiting. I'm not going to... I don't remember. Keeping my last two thick ones. I'm pretty sure. I'm not. I'm not. 90, I'm 99 sure he invented the throat protector for catchers. There you go. That's the important part of the game. He was also Duke Temple, the hitting coach in Major League, and also Tom Berenger's stunt double in that movie. Oh, the technical advisor to the real Cleveland Indians, Steve Yeager. You learn new things every day. Yeah. I wish the cameraman was having a better day. He's not, he's not giving me anything to work with. No. He's my muse. It's okay. He's your muse. I got a Crofts as well. Yes. I have a Bulldog Coco card. Check that out. Wow. The, uh, what's this? Uh, um, I wish I could remember the exact name. The Nix, the famous Nixon debate. Croft Nixon or? Uh, Frost. Yeah, Frost Nixon. There, there you go. go. Frost Nixon. He's, now he's talking. JFK and Nixon. I got a George Brett. Uh, or maybe I was even wrong, but there you go. A debate has a card. This is one of those baseball uh, inserts. I forgot what it, what it was called. It's a baseball set. It's good. There yeah, you, my thick you know. packs had all the good hits. Go figure. I actually have. This is the. Uh, this has to have a hit in it. Otherwise, Ooh. they shorted me. Ooh. So fingers crossed. The pressure is on. It looks like you get mono. Is the mono is your normal? Ooh, maybe. Mono. I got Ulysses S. Grant's. There you go. I got uh, Kid Gleason Mini. There you go, manager of the 1919 White Sox. And my hit is a museum age, Marta Kristen. Yeah, all right, yeah, that's a nice looking swatch. I like the colorful design on these cards, I really like a lot. I'm sure that might be a nod to the era that they were going for, more rich kind of cl yeah. clay, earthy colors, but also you know vibrant colors of the 20s and the 30s. Yeah, it feels like that, definitely. Yeah, I mean, but it's definitely, it's a new design, it's, it's a modern design. The, the card backs, the mini backs are actual nods to real minis from back in the day. Uh, more obscure caramel issues and food issues and tobacco issues. I don't exactly know which ones are which, but you know, the reason they're quirky and weird looking is because they're nods to the originals. So, um, you know, this is a brand I bought a lot of. I need. Yeah. I haven't yet seen the final checklist for autographs, but there's some fun ones in there. Um, I don't know if she made the final checklist, but uh, there were some pretty big name actresses. I, I forgot, so. I, you can get I, Daisy Duke in here. I know all that. three of the Dukes, really. Yeah, you can, but she's got. I think she's got an autograph, and she's the more prominent one in yeah. the set. So that was really cool to see that. There are some um, buyback cards as well from earlier days of Donruss that are signed. Are. Um, I think there's like six of them yeah, or so. Yeah, based on the prelim checklist from a few months ago, the mem checklist was actually a little more interesting to me just because there's yeah. some big names to be found. A lot of 70s TV show people. Yeah, there's a lot like more that. There's a lot more TV show and personalities yeah. than anything else. Golden Age, I think it it's was. a product that has a lot of variety and a lot of different stuff in it for the quality price of about 60 bucks. Two guaranteed hits, one on card auto, one mem. I'm a fan of it. Of, yep. I like mem cards of people I don't have and autographs of people I don't have. And now, when I start buying multiple boxes, get multiple dupes of, of lesser autos, I might not be happy. But uh, 
either one of these I would have been cool with because they're they're names I don't have. Yeah, it's it's definitely it gives you an opportunity to collect things that yeah. you would never collect. Sixty bucks for a ball. box with two hits. I mean, autograph guaranteed. Yeah. That's why it got me last year. So. Yeah. And they're all on card. It looks like so. Yep. It's always fun. All right. Well, this should be in the. Ch it's out uh, yesterday or. Yep. Yesterday. The day after, before you're watching this, whenever you are. Blah, 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 blah. It's out now. That's what I should have said. Yes, it's out now. Checklist, Checklist is in the database. Uh, should be available tomorrow. Friday, so Fourth of or July. Or the day after you watch this, or the day if you watch this, the day of yesterday. If It'll be ready right in the day. It'll be ready then. Okay, and. We're out. Well, it'll be priced in about two weeks. Two weeks. And then we're out. So until next time, I'm Chris. I'm Justin. Just keep ripping. <laughs>